African leaders have suddenly turned their military formation to football, where you change players. Uh, you just change players, hey, this one is not playing well, that one is not playing well. This is serious matters here at Tony TV. Now, the matter where they happen for Africa, cool, now the in thing now for Africa. So, those are that's what is happening. We don't know what we are going to wake up to meet tomorrow morning. It does the truth. So, we just wake up one morning, Gabon is gone down. You know, we just wake up another morning, that we don't know even who is next. We said they fear. We don't know who they next. You know, I bet share this video, make we talk this one again. I talked about Kagame, Rwanda's president. You know, approving the, the retirement of about oh, almost a thousand officers, you know, in his army. And here we are with Cameroon's 90 year old president. You see, see, I blasted tongue, self. Me, self, the tongue. Ah, ah, 90 years president. Look, just as I was discussing with somebody yesterday. You can't have a 90-year president and expect to have a calm, um, I mean, and expect to have a vibrant country. No, it's impossible. The oil flows from the head to the leg. It flows from the head. Show me your head and I will tell you what the body looks like. Show me who is leading you and I will automatically tell you where you are heading to. Is key. You see, life is principled. And you see, what is a principle? A principle is like, you know, mathematics. Except something goes wrong. Once there is an equation or there is a question, the answer must be the same whether you are in Nigeria or you write it in Cameroon or you write it in Canada or you write it in 2 plus 2 is equal to 4. That's principle. That means it doesn't change anything. Location has no effect on it. And come to think of it, 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 it just remains. 90-year-old president. I understand, you know, like, like you can see, that's him. Uh, I understand that um, it was on his Twitter. And the president, Paul Beer, you can check it. You know, uh, decree appointing officials to the Ministry of Defense. Probably putting his family members there so that they will protect him. Uh, but I, I don't tell you now. This is Cameroon's 90-year-old president, Paul Bia, makes significant changes in the Ministry of Defense. He has just appointed personnel at the internal and external service of the ministry. Bia has been Cameroon's president since 1982. He was the prime minister from 1975 to 1982 and he has been president since then hey kaya laba ya kaya ha what are we saying self 90 year old you want that idea ha oh girl let me hear what the people is saying let us see what the people is saying this is coming back, coming from King's Mill. He said, no be by changing Ministry of Defense. Hand goes on touch you. You've been president since 1982. Years before I was born. He's been president before I was born. And so for those of you who saw my birthday yesterday, so you know that he's been president before I was born. For how long do we want to, do we want to? Now, now this person says, is it fear catch him? This is 2023. Africa has woken up. I said it. Africa has woken up. And you see that when you look at the ministry, the military formations that are taking over government in those countries, you see that they are the young ones. The older ones are not even struggling with them. The young ones. They leave the young ones to do the job. You saw the one in Burkina Faso. Look at the one in Mali. And you know, I think the one in Niger is just the one who is a bit, um, you know, but no be elderly people. They are vibrant young chaps. That guy in Burkina Faso is brilliant. The Mali guy too brilliant. They mean what they are saying. Autocratic democracy is no democracy. State capture democracy 
is no democracy. Unconstitutional democracy is no democracy. For how long do we want to continue like this? And I, like I would always tell you, when I pray for people, I say, oh, we'll be well. And when I say, oh, we'll be well, I know what I'm saying. Because I know we can't continue like this. And that's the truth. We cannot do what? Continue like this. He said, if we can't have a clear election and our elected leaders, then we don't need democracy. This is coming from TNTC. I, I read one of your, your comments earlier on when I was talking about uh, uh, Paul Kagame. If you like, sack everybody and bring in anybody. You will only succeed in putting the people that will take you down. You know what? That's what I said. You will only be bringing in, and the point is that the people you are taking out could even be more, you know, easier to manage than the people you are bringing in. The people you are bringing in are on the outside, so they are tired already. So when you not bring them in, you have you are brought them to the right place. Because I don't know what this man is looking for. What is he looking for? What is he looking for? He don't chop in his he children's life. You know, Yoruba go talk, so on Jayar, on Jayo, more and more. He don't chop in children's life. Even children, children, 90 year old man. If I don't see in fourth generation now. Hmm? Well, this person said, this TNTC share says, he says, the wind is blowing and it will blow you away. It's a matter of time. It's a matter of time. Let me see if I can pick one more, uh, one more comment. Uh, <laughs> uh, somebody said, you know, I mentioned it that time. This is coming from J. Stephen. He said, now, nah, now, nah, in don't put the real people, we go topple them. Bia, you can't run from the, the inevitable. And that's the truth. You can't run from the inevitable. I beg, I just, I just, I wish I could read all the comments I'm seeing here, and they are just pointing in the same direction. You can't run away from the realities. You can't run away from the fact that you are not fit. You are not supposed to be where you are, and that's why the country is stagnant. But the point is that the, the unfortunate part is that you don't care. You people don't care whether the people are suffering, whether the people are crying, whether the people are weeping. It doesn't matter. And so that's why people can gather and say, "Let the people, let the poor breathe," ah, ha, 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 ha. and you can laugh. Let the poor breathe. Let them breathe. Let them, them, in the same country, resources that belong to all of us. Is they are they are saying let them, as if some people are supposed to be more advantageous than the other, as if some people are supposed to be closer to the national cake than others. And so when somebody wants to eat, you hold the hand of the person and continue eating. It's only a matter of time. Well, this is still serious matters here at Onif TV. And, uh, you know, like I would always say, you are free to drop a comment, make them simple and civil. I talked about that one. This one, again, I don't mention now. I especially say you go talk something. Let us know what your mind is, uh, what your thoughts are on this particular one. Let's react to them. Thank you very much for watching. This is still serious matters. Bye-bye.